Hello, my name is Jessica Giovino. And my name is Alicia Spitz. This is an abridged audiobook recording of You Read to Me, I'll Read to You. Very short fairy tales to read together. Written by Mary Ann Hoberman. Illustrated by Michael Emberley. Published by New York Little Brown and Company in 2004. When you hear this sound, that is your cue to turn the page. We will be reading the introduction on page 5, The Three Bears on page 6, Little Red Riding Hood on page 16, The Three Billy Goats Gruff on page 30, and The End on page 32. Enjoy! Introduction. introduction. Here's, Here's another, another book, book, book 2. You read to me. I'll read to you. We'll, we'll read, read each page, page to one another. another. You'll read one side, I the other. But who will read, now guess this riddle, when the words are in the middle? The answer's easy, plain as pie. We'll read together, you and I. The Three Bears I'm Goldilocks. I'm Baby Bear. What pretty fur. What pretty hair. Why are you here? You're in my bed. I'm in your bed? That's what I said. Why I, are you here? I lost my way. I found your house, and I thought I'd stay. And then you ate my porridge up and drank my milk right from my cup. Why, yes, I did. You weren't there, and I was hungry, baby bear. Well, now I'm very hungry, too. Oh, goodness me, what shall we do? Where do you live? Not very far, a mile or two from where we are. I know the forest very well. I'll take you home. I'll trace your smell. Why, baby bear, you're very smart. Get out of bed, and then we'll start. When I get home, here's what I'll do. I'll make some porridge just for you. Will you add honey for a treat? That's my favorite thing to eat. I'll add some honey if you wish. You can even lick the dish. Yummy yum. I love to lick. What comes next? I'll let you pick. I pick a picture book to share. Why, that is perfect, baby bear. The, the three bears, bears is the one we'll do. You'll read to me, and I'll, I'll read to you. Little Red, Red Riding, Riding Hood Little Red Riding Hood's my name. My grandma made my hood. I'm visiting her house today. She lives inside this wood. My name is Big Bad Wolf it is, and I'm in Grandma's bed, pretending to be Grandma. Her nightcap's on my head. Why, Grandma dear, you're looking strange. Your eyes are big and wide. Oh, never mind. Red Riding Hood, just sit down by my side. But Grandma dear, you look so odd. Your teeth are very long. Why, no, they're not. Red Riding Hood, believe me, nothing's wrong. You're not my Grandma, not at all. Just look me in the eye. I am, I am, I really am. I wouldn't tell a lie. Oh, yes, you would, you mean old wolf. I should have known it's you. But see the nightcap on my head? I'm grandma through and through. Now, big bad wolf, tell me the truth. What did you have to sup? Well, if you really have to know, I ate your grandma up. You ate her up, you naughty wolf. I ate her in one bite. Well, hurry, cough her up again. I hope she's still all right. Ahem, aha, kerchu, kercha. Oh, Grandma, you're not dead. Now, Wolf, give Grandma back her cap and give her back her bed. But I'm still starved, Red Riding Hood. What can I have to munch? Well, if you promise to behave, I'll take you out to lunch. We'll, we'll go, go to out a the restaurant, restaurant and, and while our dinners cook, we'll, we'll read a special, special story out of a special book. It's called Little Red Riding Hood. Just like your name, I see. Now, now let's begin. begin. I'll read to you, and, and then you'll read to me. The Three Billy Goats Gruff I am the biggest billy goat. I am a great big troll. I'm standing guard upon my bridge. I'm going for a stroll. But I won't let you cross my bridge unless you pay a toll. Why, I'm the biggest billy goat. You can't do that to me. 
But I'm an old ferocious troll, as you can plainly see. Do you charge lots of money, troll? I only charge a cent. What do you use your money for? I have to pay my rent. I pay bills for my brothers, troll. They both depend on me. And I support my two young trolls. I, too, must work for three. You poor old troll. If I had known your worries and your woes, I never would have bothered you or scared you, goodness knows. And Billy Goat, if I had known your troubles and your cares, I never would have frightened you or given you such scares. Why, thank you, troll. That's very nice. I'd like to thank you, too. And now that we've become good friends, what would you like to do? Why, I would like to dip my toes into the mountain brook. And I would like to poke my nose into a storybook about three billy goats named Gruff who took a mountain stroll and went across a mountain bridge and fooled a great big troll. You fool me in that story? Why, yes, I fear we do. Well, well never mind. mind. You read to me and, and I will read to you. The end. And so our fairy tales are through. We've read them all. What shall we do? We could reread them. Yes, we could. That might be fun. That might be good. But then again, we could read some of those old tales that these are from. And I know something else as well. There are more fairy tales to tell. Other ones we haven't read. Other ones to read instead. Many more that we can add. Funny, scary, happy, sad. Short ones, long ones, old and new. Well, well why not start to read a few? You read to me, and I'll read to you. Thanks for reading with us. We hope you had a great time.